Hello, uh, here is my modernism blog. It is on Monsieur George Bellos. There we go. Uh, George Bellos was born in Columbus, Ohio, and he attended the Ohio State University in 1901, where he would play basketball and baseball. Despite a seemingly athletic temperament, he would make drawings for college publications, possibly suggesting artistic inclinations. And confirming this, in 1904, he would drop out of college and go to New York to study under the artist Robert Henry. And obviously, Robert Henry was a good teacher, because later, uh, Bellow would be acclaimed as the most acclaimed American artist of his generation. Now, let's get into some of his art and connect it to modernism. Here is the Lone Tenement, very beautiful picture. The Lone Tenement exemplifies ex ex existentialism and realism reflect and reflects on the passage of time. Picture it as a Lone Tenement, likely the last in its area, being eclipsed by the shadow of the Queensboro Bridge, which was new at the time. Now. It's clear that the shadow of the bridge reflecting on this tenement, which was once surrounded by others, but all the others are gone, is supposed to reflect on the doomed nature of the tenement. Like, it's going to be demolished soon. The old is eclipsing, I mean, the new is eclipsing the old. Here's the barricade. The barricade was painted during World War I. A defining influence of modernism. The barricade seeks to condemn German actions during the war. German soldiers are pictured taking cover behind naked people with their hands raised. Clearly this work is meant to relate the toll of innocent lives that the war and the German advance particularly had. Whoa, just a squeak outside my window. But yeah, here here you can see the, there, there's these innocent naked people with their hands raised obviously in a gesture of surrender and german soldiers crouched behind them and firing weapons in combat here is both members of this club a less pretty painting with gross contorted faces in the crowd if you look in this work bellows is reflecting on private fight clubs with disdain the title, Both Members of This Club, references the temporary membership in fight clubs fighters gained during their fights. They were not allowed regular membership as they were deemed socially unacceptable. So basically, they couldn't come to other fights that they weren't participating in because they were seen as lower class. But obviously, they needed membership to, and to gain entry into the club. So that was achieved by, gain, by giving them a temporary membership during their fights. Uh, this image best reflects Impressionism, as Bellows is contorting the faces of the crowd and emphasizing the bloodshed to convey his disdain for the practice of fight clubs. Basically, there's people cheering for the brutality uh, in front of them. And obviously, maybe this wasn't exactly how it looked, but Bellows is manipulating imagery to convey his ideas or the impression of the event on him. Sorry, I'm going a little bit over here, but thank you.